Okay, so it's taken me like half an hour to set this all up and think of what I'm actually gonna do because there are so many videos that I could be doing right now um, just because I have bought quite a few things. I've bought loads of drugstore makeup, I've bought a few high-end makeup bits and then I've also bought loads and loads of clothes um, but I am anticipating to go out um, and buy a few more bits and bobs here and there just because it is half term and every half term I like to refresh my wardrobe for college um, yeah anyway so I guess I'll start off um, today by filming a high-end makeup haul it's been a while since I've like treated myself to some high-end makeup I really do love having a new foundation I love having just new skin type products from higher end brands just because they do them so well um, and I just love the sleek packaging and also I just I love like the bag that they give you as well okay so I think I'll start off with some deal I originally set out to buy a new foundation because one of my friends pointed out that I had quite orange looking skin one day and I was just a bit fed up of having the wrong color foundation so went out to Dior and got myself a new foundation and in that same day I had ordered another foundation as well so yeah <laughs> okay I think I'll start off with the foundation I was just watching them, some of them didn't really look yellow enough, some of them were just a bit orange and dark. At that moment in time, Dior had like nothing in stock. I went to Debenhams Dior and also the Dior in John Lewis and both of them just didn't have much stock. I really wanted this lip gloss and it's absolutely beautiful. I can't remember the shade of it but it was like this brownie nude with like glitter and sparkle it was absolutely beautiful but I'm rambling on so I'll just get on with the foundation and you'll probably have seen me use this already in my um glam type of look I'll link it down below if you haven't seen it I've already used it but I've just popped it in, back in the packaging for you guys Dior Skin Star Foundation in the shade 021 and this is 30ml like a typical foundation and it has SPF 30 but the lady told me that this is made for like photography and filming it's studio makeup basically and it has like these like spears inside that make your whole face look flawless I've got it on today um, on top of some Estee Lauder EE cream and I quite like it I think it is really nice for filming just because on camera it picks up more yellow but um, in, to, in like everyday wear when I'm not filming I do think it looks slightly neutral on me um, it's not yellow enough um, and the packaging though it's so nice and sleek I like it more than the Chanel packaging and the Chanel packaging is pretty but this is like it's heavy it's weighted and um, it's just it's a bit more sturdy as well and you've got the CD um, on top there and it just says Dior Skin and then I do like the foundation you could build it up and well it won't cover like acne and all of that it is a medium coverage foundation and a little bit upwards as well I would say that it gives you a radiant look but it's kind of not matte but it's not dewy skin either it's kind of like a satiny type of finish and it says it's weightless but I kind of feel it on my skin when I wear it as well so yeah I think it was like it was on price match but I also had a five pound off voucher for Debenhams as well so I look for like 24 pounds but I think it's like 30 something pounds normally as well um so would I buy this again maybe in a right shade but I don't think they'll do the right shade for me <laughs> Next up from Dior is actually a present that I got for my sister, but she doesn't, she didn't want it. This wasn't the right mascara for her, um, but the lady had packaged it up so, so nice. It was in like Dior wrapping paper and also this is like so exciting, but it's like pink Dior ribbon. Um, which is so cute. I love it so much. That's also another thing that I love. Like, I love the ribbon that you also get and, like, the wrapping paper. It's just so 
fun and exciting when you buy something high-end. Dior Show Iconic Overcurl Waterproof. I always buy waterproof mascaras because they are the best at holding a curl no matter what. Um, however, I have found with this mascara that it does transfer and normally with waterproof mascaras you don't get that and it doesn't hold a curl that well on my eyelashes. I know that sounds really bad because it is a waterproof mascara and it's the over curl so it should hold a curl but I think it is quite it's quite heavy on my eyelashes to be honest so it kind of like drags them down. I have done a mascara routine using this. It turned out pretty bomb in the video but I wouldn't repurchase this again just because I go through mascaras so quickly so there's no point in me investing in the mascara so I really like the Maybelline ones in waterproof because they're really good. <laughs> but anyway, it just has like a curved wand and it's a bristle brush type thing. And I like the packaging as well. It's metal. I don't know if it is real metal, but it feels like metal. <laughs> I bet it's just plastic coated in this like silvery thing. But yeah, I think that was like £21. I'm not really sure on the prices because I did buy this like a month ago. I know, I've been waiting to film this for a very long time now, so yeah. But I'm pretty excited to use this. I haven't used it because I've been waiting to film this video. I have used the others, but yeah. Anyway, so last thing I got from Dior was this. This is the Dior Skin Nude Air Tan Powder. I love bronzer. If you know me, then bronzer over blusher every day, any single day. I love bronzer to the moon and back. It just makes your skin look so healthy and glowy and I love it. As you can see, I've applied a bit too much today, but who cares, it's nearly summer now, so. <laughs> this packaging as well, oh my gosh, it's like to die for. And it has a kabuki brush with it and this is metal, I hope. It's cold, so yeah. But anyway, oh. I got the lady to, to test on a um, coloured powder on me, it was a pressed powder and I thought it would go nicely on my skin for like those more natural days but um, after like three layers she put on I just was like nah I might as well just try something else and then she cracked out this one and she popped it on my skin and I loved it. It's like it looks really dark in the pan but when she applied it on me it was beautiful and it's like I quite like orange bronzers to be honest like that's just my preference with bronzers and this is quite orangey as you can see and it has the nude air imprint on it as well which is pretty cool and look at this packaging like honestly it's got the Dior quilting and it's pretty 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 cool <laughs> How many times can I say pretty cool? Um, but anyway, so this is in the shade 035. Um, yes. Cannot wait to use this. Oh my gosh, does it come with like the velvet thing as well? Yes, it does. Oh my gosh, it comes with the little velvet pouch that you can pop the powder in. That's so cute. Um, normally with like the Chanel ones, they come in the pouch already, in the packaging obviously oh my gosh that's so cute with the cd as well not that i'm gonna use it because velvet gets really dirty easily it picks up so much dust so let me just pop this back in i think this was the most expensive item out of all of the purchases this was 35 pounds it was like yolo i got paid so look at this kabuki brush though cannot wait to use this it's quite dense actually normally like brushes that come with like powders and things they're normally just like really floppy this is quite dense and it's really quite soft but I don't think I'd use um, it to use with my bronzer because it would pack on quite a bit and I quite like the Real Techniques um, blush brush to apply bronzer as you can see it's coated in bronzer but I did wash it yesterday so I cannot wait to use this bronzer as I said, I waited to film this video to use it with, to show you guys before I started scratching off the nude air thing. I do have a tester for the Misty or Eau de Parfum. I don't think I like the smell. I haven't tried it. Mm. It's actually, oh. Oh. 
It's like a fresher version of Coco Mademoiselle by Chanel. And I also have a tester. Oh my gosh, this is way too dark for my skin tone at the moment. But when I fake tan, I'm going to try it out. But I do have the tester for the Dior uh, Forever Foundation in the shade A30. I picked the Dior Skin because I had already picked up... Let me show you guys. This foundation, which you would have seen a first impressions on. If not, I'll link it down below. Okay, so I was looking for a matte foundation with full coverage, and this is what I picked up. And um, this is the Giorgio Armani Power Fabric Long Wear High Coverage Foundation in the shade 4.5. I was looking for something totally yellow based um, that would match my skin, and it doesn't match me at the moment because my skin tone is darkened a little bit because it's spring now uh but i do quite like this foundation although it does crease in like my smile lines quite a bit uh but it is a nice coverage and it's a nice color overall and i can't wait to use it in like the autumn months when i'm a little bit paler and that was like oh it was 30 no was it 36 pounds uh with price much on it was 36 pounds but it's normally 40 pounds uh yikes <laughs> i know but yeah i was looking for a full coverage matte foundation and i came across this one but then um on the same day i was like well i want to try out a dior foundation and so i bought something a little bit more radiant and i bought the star foundation yes okay so a couple of more things until um we finish up really so these I bought like ages and ages ago. I think it was back in December I bought these. These are all MAC and I have two lip liners. I have Whirl. You guys would have seen Whirl everywhere back in the day when Kylie Jenner's lips were like really like prominent everywhere. And also I got Oak which I wanted to kind of like be like an alternative to Strip Down because Strip Down lip liner is like my all time favourite but I just wanted something a little different and I do quite like it and I wear it every day now. I haven't got it on today though because I haven't actually lined my lips today. And then I also got Honey Love Lipstick. Honey Love? Yeah. Honey Love Lipstick because I saw Lydia Elise Millen used to use this. Um, and it was really pretty shade. It's like this peachy nude. I do wear it sometimes, but not all the time because it's not, it depends on what I'm wearing that day. Like if I'm wearing like kind of peachy pinky makeup, then I'll pop this on. But if I'm going for like all nude, then it has to be MAC Naturally Transformed because that is such a beautiful lipstick. And then this is actually quite exciting because this, was um, from TK Maxx and I've been wanting to try this bronzer forever and it's the Makeup Forever Pro Bronze Fusion Bronzer um, I got it for $9.99 well actually it's kind of a complicated story to this but my friend had actually already bought this and she got the last one um, so I was absolutely gutted but she likes quite a dark dark bronzer um, and so she returned it and reserved it back for me um, and then I got my hands on it. Um, yeah, it's in the shade 10M and it's so nice. It's really good for my um, spring winter pale skin. Um, yeah, that was just my sister. But anyway, so it's beautiful. I love the colour so much. It kind of has this like sheen, so it's not overly matte. But the thing about this is it doesn't last on my skin all day. Um, which is quite disappointing because it says it's waterproof as well somewhere yeah it says it's waterproof but it doesn't really last on my skin that well so it's quite gutting that it doesn't but anyway it's so beautiful and i'm not wearing it today <laughs> but anyway i think that's me done um I hope you like seeing what I got from Dior and Giorgio Armani um, and MAC. I love high-end makeup and I wish I could afford it all the freaking time because I'd just be in and out of all those like little concession stands in John Lewis all the time. I'd be in there just like 
spending my money, but I can't. So once in a while, we'll have like these hauls, these little splurges, and I'll show you guys what I bought. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope you like seeing what I bought, what I treated myself to. And now I'm gonna film a drugstore makeup thing, which I can afford more of. <laughs>